to tell you how much I admire your truly superb loyalty and devotion. Here, your boyfriend, Roger, a prince of a fella, has been back east at Princeton studying to be a genius for three months now. And not once have you given him cause to worry or be jealous. Yes, Bernadine, it's girls like you who give me faith in the honesty and integrity of American womanhood. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, wait, there's more. Oh, what? I love you. Let's go steady. Back <laughs> off, you big phony, or get a face full of elbow. <laughs> no, my great Tawny Adam. All, all that blabber about admiring my devotion and loyalty. Ha! Huh? But I'm all for him. Ha! Huh? For a week, maybe, even two. But after three months, it's not loyalty, it's insanity. But Roger and I have a heaven-sent relationship, and, and, and no creep like you is going to torpedo it. Very well, then, my love. Reject me. Fling me away. Turn me into a drifting, aimless, mindless, hopeless wreck. You rang? No, Maynard, I didn't. Please, I'm busy. And now, my angel, where were we? You were a hopeless wreck. Now get lost. Maynard, the dance starts early tonight. Could you pick me up at 9? Nope, I'm like unavailable to 10. Oh, but Maynard, 10's awfully late. Well, don't quibble, chick. Take it or leave it. I'll take it, I'll take it. Ten will be perfect. Well, that's better. Now the loot for the tuxedo. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, the taxi fare? Oh, of course. Ooh, and a big hunk of miscellaneous for odds and like ends. Oh, well, all right. Yeah. sex appeal of a head of cabbage with a beard. So how do you figure the way that dream Bernadine threw herself all over him? I had to find out the reason. So I went to Maynard and I said, Maynard, I think there's an explanation coming. Okay, let's have it. <laughs> no, no, Maynard. You're the one who'd better do some explaining, and fast. What's to explain? I'm gonna take that chick for every nickel she can wring out of her old man, that's all. Maynard? Yeah, when she's all wrung out like an old grapefruit, I'm gonna have to squeeze a lot more. Maynard, is it really you talking? You bet. Me. Maynard G. Me. The real Maynard G. Me. Mm, I'm like rough, tough and like ornery. No more washy-wishy schnook. Maynard, I'm shocked. What's happened to you? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, except I found out the truth. My face is my fortune. Your face is your fortune. Mm -hmm. Maynard, you're very sick. I'm taking you home. Come. Still don't believe me, huh, Smart Apple? Well, pay me like heat. About seven or eight weeks ago, that's almost a month, I was a sweet, lovable, cuddly, stupid kid. And then I struck gas. Hey, Maynard, that's oil. Yes, oil. What's the difference? I was on my way. Europa. You see, this Bernadine chick was talking to her boyfriend, Roger, just before he zoomed off to get himself a lift for pinky education. They were yakking away over in the, uh, by the school over there. Oh, but I want you to, my angel. Breathe? Oh, that too, of course. But, but I mean, uh, while I'm away at Princeton, I want you to participate in campus activities here. Sorority dances, parties, football weekends. Oh, I wouldn't dream of going anywhere without you. Oh, but you must go. While I'm away at Princeton, becoming a man of the world, uh, you can't remain a simple, small-town Alice sit by the fire. Okay, if you say so, my dear. But I'll just have to find a fellow to escort me who's a friend of yours. But, but while I'm away, how do I know he'll remain a friend? I'd be afraid you'd fall in love with him. Then I won't go. But my conscience will bother me if you have to sit home alone every night. Well, then we'll find a fellow that no one could possibly fall in love with. You rang? <laughs> disastrous event took place, it was precisely 327. I do not make such an important issue of the exact time for any capricious reason. No, I mention it because it marked the moment when Maynard G. Krebs, kind, sweet, gentle child of nature, became Maynard G. Krebs, hard-headed money grubber and gigolo. From that moment on, he began to fall apart, uh, morally, that is. You see, when Bernadine and her boyfriend realized that Maynard's, uh, uh, unusual appearance made him the kind of fellow it was impossible to be jealous of. They offered him money to escort her to dances, parties, and football weekends. Before long, word of this got around and Maynard became a valuable commodity. Any girl who had a boyfriend away at school in the East or in the Army or like that could hire Maynard to be her date. Sounds impossible, but Maynard's face had become his fortune. Of all the faces a boyfriend could never be jealous of, Maynard's was the undisputed champion, and he was cashing in on it. The whole situation was disgraceful and degrading, but Maynard, the poor misguided fool, didn't realize it. In fact... Maynard, 
I've been looking all over for you. You've got to reconsider my offer. Oh, flake off, doll. One chick at a time is all I can handle. And my waiting list is longer than your arm. And your arm, too. But Myron's been away at West Point for over a month now. And tomorrow is sophomore prom day. Well, those are the breaks. Please, Maynard. I'll guarantee you an all-expense-paid visit to Perry's Pizza Parlor after every dance. Well, cut the wailing, girl. You're bugging me. <laughs> uh, Darlene, uh, I'd be honored to escort you. As you, you were, it. Sonny. One look at you and Myron would drop me and mangle you. Maynard, please let me know the minute you have an opening. I'm missing out on everything. Uh, zoom off, Lulu. <laughs> See what I mean, though? A normal-looking face like yours gets you straight to nowhere's will. But a kisser like mine, man, it's worth its weight in pistachio caramel sundaes. I can't believe it. <laughs> what happened to the Maynard G. Krebs who used to spend hours feeding the squirrels in the park? The Maynard G. Krebs who climbed over the fence at the dog pound to free helpless pups. The Maynard G. Krebs who likes to watch sunsets and flowers and rainbows after a thunderstorm. What happened to that, that sweet, kind, warm-hearted fellow? He went that away, and who needs such a muttonhead? Look, though, my client bought me a beautiful plaid vest to go with my tuxedo ensemble. And I gotta go over to the tailor for a fitting, so I'll see you later. <laughs> Maynard, what you're doing is un-American. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Maynard, I've gotta talk to you. Oh, Ralph's been at Yale's... Unhand me, wench! Oh, man, what a disadjusted world we live in. I mean, I keep wondering, will supply ever equal demand? <laughs> Drusilla, my dear. Oh, 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 oh. Do you realize that we are witnessing the destruction of the soul of Maynard G. Krebs before our very eyes? And worst of all, the poor misguided creature doesn't even realize how horribly bad off he is. Through tripping this light, fantastic. Bring our table the caviar. The entire caviar. Uh, <laughs> Maynard, caviar is so expensive that I'm already overdrawn on next month's allowance. Well, Prudence Meglis offered me a lifetime membership in the Dizzy Gillespie fan club. And Lord Jim uh, plugs it. Um, he'll have caviar. <laughs> like a skull. <laughs> See what I mean? See the fate I had to rescue Maynard from? Boy, was he miserable. It was a lovely evening, Maynard. Thank you for bringing me. Well, stand back, girl. Your hot breath is melting my boutonniere. Let us away. Maynard, come to me. You're saving. Oh, you got to be some kind of a nut. I'm going to stay alive. Let you ruin it. Get back, you nut. Or I'll call a paddy wagon. Maynard, I'm going to take you back to the kind of life you used to lead. Don't just stand at you. Call a paddy wagon. <laughs> This is Captain's way. What the special soft cushions that you are? Okay, I have soft cushions. Maynard, we're gonna go wake up my folks. They'll help me rescue you from this life of unhappiness. What a Thanks for the walk. You gotta be kidding. Why would any girl want to give Maynard all that stuff just to go out with her? No, what a stupid question. She's got to have a hole in her skull, that's why. No, I'm trying to tell you, the girls are after him because he's a very valuable commodity. A very valuable... That broken-down wreck? Uh, no offense, Maynard. No offense, Mr. G. Let go! Daddy's valuable because he's a broken-down wreck. Yeah, no offense, Maynard. No offense, Dolan. <laughs> Let go, I'm gonna call the cops and tell them you're kidnapped prison. You're holding me for a million dollars ransom. One sec about who believed me. <laughs> you mentioned it. Yeah. Maynard, you absolutely cannot take money from a girl that way. It's disgraceful. It's shocking. It's shameful. It sounds to me like maybe he's latched onto a good thing. <laughs> it is shocking, shameful, and disgraceful. <laughs> now, Dad, help us show Maynard how wrong he is. Maynard, now you listen to me. This is a man's world, and you gotta act like a man. If you want something, you gotta go out and earn it for yourself. Why? I better quit. He's got me. Herbert, you are not helping. Maynard, we're only doing this for your own good. If you straighten out and do what's right, we don't gain anything by it. But you will. You'll win back your self-respect and dignity. Do as we say, Maynard, before it's too late. They're right, Maynard. Oh, I know it's awful tempting to take the easy road, but unless a man makes his own way in this life, he ain't really a man. Why, he can hardly look at himself in the looking glass, and as that's pretty tough for you already, why saddle yourself with an added handicap? Oh, and you know what I mean. <laughs> Maynard, we only want to help. We're your friends. Like, true, the best friends I got in the whole world, or any place else. Aha! Uh -huh. I figured you'd have them here, you low-down kidnapper. Yeah, you low-down kidnapper. Maynard, we're friends now. Uh, Maynard, come on. The gang is going to Peabody for barbecued ribs. Barbecued ribs. Maynard. <laughs> Maynard, whatever she'll feed you, we'll feed you. Ah, 
And we will provide a fine, wholesome American atmosphere. Me and I'll have my father increase my allowance if you'll go to the movie seven nights a week. Oh, crazy. Mayor, <laughs> we'll take you to the movie seven nights a week, plus matinees. And we will provide a fine, wholesome American atmosphere. <laughs> Come on with me, Mayor. I'll make no, you happy. I don't want to go. Stay <laughs> with us. We'll make you strong. I gotta stick with my good buddy, Dobie, because he learned me everything I know. And if he says giving up all them jollies is good for me, well, I gotta give it a try. Yeah, and you'll win, Maynard. We'll help you win. Well, you bet we will, Maynard. Why, we'll help you so much, even you won't be able to flub it over. With the help of our fine, wholesome American atmosphere. <laughs> okay, Dobie, you win for now. But just wait. I've got him accustomed to roast pheasant and caviar. Do you think he'll ever again be satisfied with soda pop and tuna fish? Oh, she could be right, though, but... I mean, I'm hooked on all them things. Do you think I can kick them? No, don't worry, Maynard. We're right here with you. We'll fight at your side until you've got all those horrible habits completely out of your system. Ha! They never kick those habits. He'll be back in 24 hours for the soft, easy, luxurious life. Bye-bye, Maynard. See you soon. Real soon. Oh, now you're acting like a man, Maynard. And whenever you think you're slipping back, you just yell for us. Mm. We'll get you whatever that, that hussy would get for you. Yeah, me. and forget about what it costs, Maynard. You're much more important than mere money. That's right, boy. Forget about what it costs. After all, the important thing is forget about when it costs. Now, just hold the phone. You mean I got to show out a lot of loot just yes, so, sir, Maynard? Yes, Herbert, yes, Herbert, she do, Maynard. Be my guest. Thanks, <laughs> Dan. Saving Maynard will be worth whatever it costs. You won't regret it. <laughs> Would you like to make book on that? D-Day, H-Hour. The battle had begun. It was bound to be a tough fight, but the game was well worth the candle. For the candle was nothing less than the soul of Maynard G. Krebs. <laughs> Like I saw, like I saw. Now take them away, like, please, or I'll flip. The finest money can buy. Dig the sound. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> can I play some people play? Boys, why don't you watch it? Oh, my God. It needs to be a rock. No, 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 no
think that would have scared Bernadine off, wouldn't you? But no, the battle for Maynard's soul went on. The enemy was still full of fight. And then we'll go to the La Fiesta room. They got the best Latin band in town. You know how you love to cha-cha-cha the way I showed you? Yes, the greatest all that cucaracha rhythm. A swinging night of cha-cha-cha. Top that big talker. Yeah, nothing to it. Oh, yeah? We'll see. We'll see. And that Bernadine thought she had us stuck. Boy, you've got to get up pretty early in the morning to beat us Gillises. Maynard, Mom's the best cha-cha dancer in the whole neighborhood. <laughs> well, for my age, that is. Come, Maynard. Shall we show them how to cut a Latin rock? Come in. Viva la Senorita G. Uh, that's Mrs. G like Latin, you see. We know, Maynard. Maynard. We know dance already. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. One. Like true, but I was too chicken to lead, and she only learned me how to follow. <laughs> only follow her. Can't you lead? Oh, I wouldn't know how, dear. Ah, uh, we're sunk. No wonder that Bernadine was so sure of herself. Ooh, that music. Man, what a beat. Well, there's nobody here to dance with, so I better go down the loft the room and find that twinkle-toed chick. Oh, no, no, Maynard. Don't go back to her. Fight that temptation, Maynard. Fight! I'm sorry, Mrs. G. Dobe G. Dobe G. That means that... I know. I, I tried. Honest, I did. But it's bigger than the both of me. I said, like, farewell and au revoir. And one, two. Cha, cha, cha. One, two. Cha, cha, cha. Cha, cha, cha. Hold it, boy. Oh, let go, Mr. G. You're cheating. You said you promised you'd give me anything the chick couldn't. I gotta have somebody to leave me in the cha-cha-cha. I just gotta. So? So? So, when the little lady was becoming the best uh, cha-cha-cha dancer in the neighborhood, for her age, that is, who do you think was leaving? Come <laughs> Shall we dance? One, two, cha cha cha. 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 The time had come for the crucial test. Was Maynard cured? Could he resist the bright, shiny, seductive temptations of Bernadine and return to living like the sweet, undemanding Maynard we all knew and loved? That's what I had to find out. Hey, Endicott Billings, one big whole Maynard. pile Maynard. of... Maynard, hi. Uh, oh, so she's fat, Maynard. Keep her away from me. Oh, Maynard. Get lost, you bloodthirsty umpire. Hey, Maynard, that's vampire. <laughs> this time you've got to face... Oh, no, Dope. She'll, like, entice, allure me and tantalize me back to my old wicked Maynard, ways. listen to her. See what she wants. Maynard, I have two front row seats for the Thelonious Monk concert. What time are you going to pick me up? Thelonious Monk? <sighs> Man, he's the wildest. I gotta go hear him. I said, I just gotta go hear him. <laughs> hey, Dope, ain't you gonna offer to take me to hear old Thelonious so I won't go with her? No, Maynard. No, Dopey? No, Maynard, no more bribes. We did it for a while so you'd have time to make up your mind. But now the hour of decision has arrived. Do you choose her, the, the shameful, disgraceful, pitiable life, or us? High-minded, straight, noble, and pure. Make your choice. Choose me, Maynard. I'll give you steak and lobster dinners. That's right, she will. And, and tons of stereo records. That's right, she will. It'll be a life of sheer fun and pleasure. That's true, and all we can offer you is friendship and honor and a chance for you to regain your self-respect. Come, Maynard, let us away. Go by. Yes, Maynard? Yes, Maynard. I, I... Well, Maynard. I... Well, Maynard. I... I'm staying with you, good buddy. I'm cured. All of a sudden, I don't want no more of them fancy doodads somebody else pays for. Namely, a chick. Maynard, that's wonderful. Just wonderful. Maynard, have you gone soft in the head or something? I'm offering you all the luxuries a young man could want. Sure. On account of you want something from me. My face and my lovable personality so you can swing with a hoity-toity set and still keep your boyfriend. True. But with Dobe here, it's different. I can't do him no good. True. In fact, all I ever do is give him headaches. But, I mean, he don't want nothing from me except I should be his friend. He's got no ulterior motives. That's how I know his way is the right way. Because I'm the only one who like helps. Maynard, you're a fine, decent human being. I know. Maynard. Yeah, good buddy? Here. You're all heart, sir. <laughs> oh, I hope you two will be very happy. Don't talk about your evil Maynard, woman. Maynard, Maynard. Bernadine. Bernadine, you put up a good fight and you deserve a lot of credit. Well, thank you, Dolby. You're okay, too. You can really stick up for your principles. It's too bad we couldn't have met under different circumstances. True, we might have become good friends. That's quite possible. Well, goodbye. 
And don't come back, you evil woman, trying to ruin a sweet, cuddly, lovable kid like me. <laughs> I didn't know quite how to say what I had to say to you, and, and that's why I brought Abigail with me. Indeed. Abigail is a student of cultural anthropology at Bixby College for Women. Indeed. I feel like an old cad and bounder about all this. Of course, Bernadine, but when a fellow finds himself an Ivy Leaguer... Why don't you come out with it, you big phony? You just came back here to tell me off. You got yourself an oversized head and an undernourished girl, and a small-town girl like me just isn't good enough for you anymore. Indeed. Hmm, I'll indeed you, sister. Here's your ring and your pen. And if I find anything more of yours over the house, you can come over and I'll stuff them down your throat. Careful, careful. Those aren't paid for yet. <laughs> indeed, yes, Skinny, and you can have him with my compliments. I'm going to find myself a man who has the guts to stick up for what he believes in. Hi, Bernadine. Me, Doby, darling, me. Roger and I have just come to a mutual and highly satisfactory misunderstanding. I just saw. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just the man I'm looking for. I am? Oh, yeah, yeah, I sure am. Mm -hmm. Doby, yes. couldn't we go somewhere and talk? Of course, my sweet. Your wish is my command. <laughs> Doby, darling, you're so cute. You are the moon and the stars. You're so romantic. You are poetry. But you're so impetuous, my sweet. We've only just met. How can we speak of marriage? When two people are in love, my pearl, it's never too soon to speak of marriage. True. Yes. Roger, that meathead, mm, yes. and I, we had our initials engraved on everything since the day we met. Mm. Good heavens. I ordered a silver serving tray yesterday. I must call them and have our initials engraved on it. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, voila. Voila, my a dime for the phone. Oh, I'll rush right back. Each second will seem like an eternity, my sweet questing beast. Like I do. Oh, hi, Maynard. Sit down. Look, Maynard. Oh, uh, hey, hey, I see you ordered for me. Well, I, 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 I have wonderful news to yeah, tell you. Yeah. Bernadine and I. Bernadine? Uh, yeah, my I'm... former serpent in the Garden of Lake Eden? Uh, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm but, sure but, glad you never flipped for her, though. Uh, uh, Remember once how I thought you was making up everything about helping me just so you could get her? Oh, man, I'm sure glad it turned out I was wrong. Because if I ever found out you and Bernadine were, like, hacking around together, that I never ever trust you or any other human person ever again. Never, ever, never, ever. I mean, I mean, I'd lose my whole faith in humanity and I go back to my wicked ways as being a no good gigolo. Hmm. But, though, you're good and true and pure of heart and you only wanted to help me. And that's how come I'll always believe you and trust you. And, though, I'd give you anything I owned. Oh, yeah, hey, Dope. Dope, you want to borrow my petrified frog? Oh. Dope, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi, Maynard. Oh, get lost, chick. Uh, look, Bernadine, there's some... I got it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, get lost, chick. What? Doby! Cut out. Scoot like a bunny. Right, Doby? Uh, yeah, like a bunny. Well, I never! I never did either, so like hail and farewell. Right, Doby? <laughs> yeah, like... like hail and farewell. Man! <laughs> Ah, uh, chicks, who needs them anyhow? We always got each other, right, good buddy? I'm afraid so, Maynard. I'm afraid so. <laughs> This time you leave. Oh, yeah. Ready? One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, 